Hi everybody, this is Ben from X Geeks, and this is Call of Cthulhu. This is a game that's been on my radar for a while now. It's just been released, and I cannot wait to play this game. I'm a massive uh, HP Lovecraft fan. The Shadow of Innsmouth is probably one of my favourite kind of writings of all time. I really enjoy and love the story and the whole Lovecraft Cthulhu kind of mythology. So I'm really excited to play this. It's a survival horror uh, adventure RPG. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to some intense chases and some intense scenes. I want to learn lots about the Cthulhu mystery in this game. And I just want a lovely, wonderful, exciting story and an amazing point and click adventure. So let's get started. Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. So in 1924, Edward Pierce, a veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Let's enter the madness. Charming. Woo, shocky. That's better graphics. That video is a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit pixelated. Okay. Can we take this? No. Entrails on the floor. Is it sharks? Oh dear, this is not a good place to be. Okay, so we've got a crouch, but what's this? Okay, so eat interact. Down we go. Let's see what's over here. I'm guessing another locked gate. Yeah, that ain't budging. So I'm guessing we're going to have to do a lot of hiding in this game. Let me slide up some items in order to interact with them. So what, grab the lamp. Let's see what's down here. Let's be uh, thorough. What was that? Okay. We'll leave you to it, whatever that was. Now, do you think we need to go back that way, or do you think it's just open this one? So, yeah, we just pressed E, so we didn't have to select it or anything. We could just. Because we had the tool in our possession. What is going on? What a putrid offering. Shark, killer whale. See, killer whales scare me, so seeing dead killer whales is actually a, a relief. I don't want to see any live ones, unfortunately. Hey. 
Let's run. It's not much of a sprint. Oh, I thought I could get in there. things to interact with. Consult diary. Okay, so what's all this? Ooh, we've got a sanity lever. So we've got sanity. So I guess that's an old war memorabilia here. Yeah, old lighter from his army days. Uh, the doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I start the memories return one of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from the ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? I used to be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Key. Okay. Lost battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Um, okay, so, yes, don't drink. I think we've had enough. Quiet, please. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Case solved. Item obtained. See who's phoning me? I'm listening. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm seeing the black? because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Ah, here we go. So, available character points. Eight. Um, eloquence. Uh, so, what do we have? Strength? Like, I'm pretty sure there's no fighting in the game, so I don't know what that's going to... Find objects, improving skill, increases chance of finding hidden objects. Uh, investigation, improves skill, increases chance of understanding past events, balancing crime scenes, picking locks. That sounds good. Let's so up that. Uh, drug, we can diagnose, expressing understanding of a medical problem. We'll go one on that. One occult. So bring that up. So strength's already at forty percent. So, um, yes, medicine investigation. See, they're all coloured purple and they're yellow. Well, mustard yellow. So, hmm. 
So that's 20%, 40, 50, 30. Let's do it 10, so that's nice. Nice and even. Okay. Uh, yes. That's a neat little uh, way to introduce those skills. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... I'm coming. <laughs> There's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Oi. Rude. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Yes, yeah, Stephen, Stephen Webster. Webster. Industrialist and art collector. See? Says it in some All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. My little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do Ouch. anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell scarecrow. me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Okay, so let's look at our journal. Uh, so we need to examine the Hawkins file and examine the painting. Okay, hold E. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Uh, the painting depicts a monstrous silhouette threatening a woman and child. Flames can be made out of the background. Stephen Webster, the father of Sarah Hawkins, thinks this is linked to the death of a daughter. So that could be his grandson, that could be his daughter. Flames, the fire. F to inspect. Okay, that's cool. Oh, don't need to go around this way. Let's have a look. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Uh, some of it is unreadable, but I can make out the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. Uh, the police report. It says the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? Uh, so we've got a press cutting, an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a reclusive life there of their only son Simon. So could the, that be... So if he's from this place, 
which dark water is clearly somewhere bad. Uh, yes, interesting. So could he be the person in the painting, do you think? Maybe. And she was hiding from him. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Okay, we've got options. Nice. We've not got time by the looks of it, so that's good. Uh, you shouldn't do this painting lightly. I've read about the in the report. Something's not right with the story. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. The meaning could be so this exactly is unlike, it uh, This is an unlocked answer. I think your answer. daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. So that's an unlocked answer. That's an investigation professional. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Okay. Well, yeah, someone's not right about the story. was a big deal on the island. The Part of a cult? Accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. I agree. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Okay. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right, I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Yeah, because he knows we're desperate. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. No, nope, we need to take the job. But he's using us. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Uh, Dense work to the interns and young practitioners. The first of all, we list illnesses known to the world, it is symptoms and suitable treatment. Okay. Oh! Medicine progression. Oh, so we find stuff. Oh, so we can find stuff in the world that will increase our stats. That's cool. Uh, so we've got Stephen Webster, 63, businessman, wealth businessman, well respected in Boston. Stephen Webster came to see me to investigate the death of his daughter, Sarah. Uh, he's ready to do anything to prove her innocence. So this is Charles Hawkins, 41, ship owner. He was a local celebrity on the island. The heir of a ship owner family. He used to travel a lot, met Sarah during a trip to Paris, fell in love, got married, had a kid. Uh, secretive life. So, 33. 
Uh, she's known for her tortured artistic universe. She was worshipped for the strangeness of her work and the rarity of her public appearances. Uh, I paint what my dreams whisper to me. That's interesting. She married Charles a year ago, surprising a lot of people. Became a reclusive on the island of Darkwater, disappeared from the front page of the news, and nobody heard any more about her. Even her death in a fire remained a secret. Only her father's team was to continue to seek the truth. And then we've got Simon. Only son of Sarah and Charles. He died in the fire that claimed the whole family. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm in. I'm in. Um, so we've got the file. So I leave Darkwater to find out about Darkwater. We need to find out more before we leave. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. <laughs> nice. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Okay, so this is an atlas of Atlantic Islands. Uh, Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. So don't let the primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of the long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small island off the coast of Massachusetts. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. I should get rid of all this stuff. Past cases. This kind of reminds me of... Bioshock Infinite, like the office, the door, and the room to the side. <laughs> um, give us the girl and wipe away the debt. Uh, so I think we've got everything now. Just check a journal, and then we'll leave for Darkwater. So we'll leave it here for this part. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I think we just, yeah, you know, obviously we've not even scratched the surface of the game yet. Um, but I'm liking our character so far. I think the kind of the downtrodden kind of private detective is always a good one for me. Um, and we've got a mystery to solve. So when we come back, we'll be heading to Darkwater. And I'm sure things are going to go a lot, a lot stranger. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And we'll see you next time.